right, hello, Miss Barron here. So now I'm going to go over some uh, molarity calculations. So molarity is how we can measure concentration. So it's the number of moles of solute in one liter of solution. So you can use, there's two different approaches. You could use this formula here, which is saying moles e or molarity, which is big M, equals moles divided by liters. You can also use the triangle over here. So I'm just going to add in these little guys, okay? So this is how you can easily manipulate the triangle. So you could, if you're not looking for molarity, you know, how can you use the triangle to find something else? So let's talk about molarity first though. So molarity, if you're looking for this, Notice the other two variables, it would be moles and then divided that division by liters. That's why it's a big M equals moles divided by liters. If you are trying to find liters, well, that would be moles divided by molarity. And if you're trying to find moles, that would be molarity times liters. So the triangle is very helpful if you're not super comfortable with using algebra to get and the equation and using algebra to get these variables by themselves. Okay. Um, so use whatever you feel comfortable with, but these are the three equations that you could use in relation to this. So, but we're gonna start with the main one, which is finding molarity or concentration. All right, so what is the molarity? So that's big M and molarity equals moles divided by liters, right? We're finding big M, which is moles divided by liters. I always like to write what equation I'm using first. Okay, well, they give us moles. 0.5 moles and 10 liters. So I'm just going to do 0.5 moles divided by 10 liters. 0.5 divided by 10 is 0 0.05. And then we write big M for molality. Okay. All right. It's pretty easy, right? Molarity big M equals moles divided by liters. And they gave me moles and liters. Well, what do we do if they don't give us moles or liters? So that's this next question here. So what is the molarity? So we're still finding big M, which is moles divided by liters. If we have 3.5 liters, so we know that we 3.5 zero liters will go in the bottom, but instead of moles this time, so instead of moles, they're giving us grams. Well, we can use, we could find molar mass, and that is how we're going to convert grams into moles. So I would have 6.5 grams, and I would set up a picket fence, and I need to get that into moles. So I need to first find the molar mass of KCl. Well, in order to find molar mass, I'm going to have to use my periodic table. So I'm gonna start with K. So it said there was one K, which is potassium. So that's 39.098. So 39.098 plus, and then we have Cl, and we just have one Cl, which is chlorine, which is 35.45. 35.45. So I'm going to go ahead and add those together. So we are going to do 39.098 plus 35.45. We have one of each element. So 74.548. 74.548. Grams per mole, right? Now this is the same thing as saying 74.548 grams equals one mole. We'd be like, oh, well, that's an equality. 
Well, on the bottom here, I know I have to have grams because these units have to be the same. And then looking at my equality, I have 74.548 grams, and that is equal to one mole, which would go above it. Grams would cancel, so now my final answer will be in moles. So all I have to do then is 62.5 divided by 74.548. So I get 0 0.8, I'm gonna go two decimal places, four moles. Now I can plug this in, okay, and solve for molarity. So we had to do kind of an extra step to find moles. Um, before I could plug it into that equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Um, if you hit, notice that I just hit divide. So ANS is the previous answer in the calculator. So it's taking that decimal 0 0.8388, you know, that really long decimal, okay? And I'm just gonna divide that by 3.5. So then I just don't have to retype in um, like that number again. Enter, so we're gonna get 0 0.24 and then big M for molality. So we had to use uh, this skill first, getting grams into moles by finding molar mass. And then I plugged moles into my equation divided by liters to find the molality, or I'm sorry, the molarity. Okay. So next, um, are some situations when we are looking for um, something other than molarity or something other than molarity. So in this case, I'm looking for moles. Okay, it says how many moles? So I'm looking for moles. So that's going to be molarity times liters. So molarity or moles is going to be equal to the molarity. Well, they tell me the molarity is three times. Oh, well now this time I need liters and they gave me milliliters. So in order to get milliliters into liters, so think, think, thinking back to our uh, units of conversion, our metric units, to go from liters to milliliters, I'm sorry, from milliliters to liters, we're going to move one, two, three decimal places to the left. So now your decimal's here, so you would have 0 0.25 liters, okay? So if you're going from milliliters to liters, you're gonna move three decimal places to the left. So now I'm just going to do that three times 0.25. So my molarity, which is big M times liters, which I converted from milliliters into liters, 0 0.75, and this is how many moles I have. For the last problem, we're going to be doing the same thing, except for we're gonna take this last step one step further and get moles into grams, which we know how to do because we just did grams to moles up here. We're just gonna be getting moles into grams in the next problem. All right, so it says, what mass of potassium hydroxide? Okay, so we are going to be finding moles. Now, this is the solute, okay? So when you're making a solution, you're dissolving something and something else. So we are taking KOH, which is potassium hydroxide, okay, so that would be like some type of a solid, and you would put it into your, you would make it into a solution by usually dissolving it in water, okay? And the liters would be how much of that solution you have in total. So I'm gonna find moles first which I'm gonna get from doing molar molarity times liters. And they already gave me that, moles equals, the molarity is 9.50 M, 
and the liters is 1.500 liters. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that first. So 9.5 times 1.5 will give me 14.25 moles, but they want mass, and mass is going to be in grams. So now I need to get moles into grams. Well, how, I'm going, how am I gonna get moles into grams? I'm gonna have to find the molar mass of KOH. So this one's not too bad. We have K, which is potassium, which again, we already used earlier, 39.098. Plus, we have one oxygen. Remember, oxygen is 15.999. I'm okay if you round that up to 16. Plus, we have one hydrogen. Hydrogen is 1.008. Okay, so we're just going to add those together. So 39.098 plus 16 plus 1.008. 56.106 grams per mole, or again, this is the same thing as saying 56.106 grams equals one mole. So that's basically an equality. So my picket fence here, if I have moles here, I also have to have moles here in the bottom, so they cancel out. Now I look at my equality, I have one mole. That is equal to what goes above it, 56.106 grams. Moles will cancel, so now I'm only left with grams. So now all I have to do is 14.25 times 56.106 divided by 1, which will give you the same answer. So 72.51 grams. So when calculating molarity problems, you have to first figure out what equation are you going to use. You can use the triangle to help you figure that out. What is it you are solving for? And then sometimes you might have to either do some conversions with milliliters and liters, or you might have to do something with molar mass, converting moles into grams or grams into moles.